As the 2018-2019 domestic leagues come to a close, what are we going to do over the summer? Well, there's plenty of football to look forward to, including some major international tournaments, including the Copa America. And we've got our predictions for Group A coming up. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time looking forward to the 2019 Copa America. And we're going to get right to it, predicting the outcomes of Group A in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Copa America related, Blap and Rose related. Whoa, football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, before we jump into the predictions and all that kind of good stuff, I um, just want to let you know that these are my early predictions. We'll come up when, once the tournament gets close to the kickoff. We'll do week by week predictions, obviously match by match. Uh, and we'll take a look at them a little because things can change between now and then. Uh, but these are my very, very early predictions. Obviously, the draw was made uh, a couple of weeks ago. So let's jump into it. First and foremost, let's take a look at Group A. That uh, consists of Brazil. Now, Brazil have won the Copa of America eight times overall. Uh, the last time coming in 2007. So that's, that's quite a while back. Uh, joining them will be Bolivia, who've also won it, uh, the, the tournament one time. And that was back in 1963. Also joining them will be Venezuela. Their best ever performance was a, uh, a fourth place finish back in 2011 and also joining them is Peru who've won the tournament twice back in 1939 and 1975 well let's take a look at the matches and predictions and see who I think will go through to the latter stages of the tournament now so let's take a look at the matches now obviously here is the graphic I'm going to be using for these predictions the, the language of the teams are listed in German and obviously the times and the dates are probably Central European time as well and I'll put a link in the prediction where you can go out and predict your own versions of the 2019 Copa America. It'll be in the description below and this you will see what I mean when you get there. Anyway, uh, Brazil will open up the tournament up against Bolivia and I expect uh, Brazil to kick off the tournament in impressive style, seeing as it will be hosted in Brazil. Uh, so I see them coming out on top with a 3-0 win over Bolivia to give themselves a good old chance uh, to get themselves uh, into the knockout stages. Next up, it will be Venezuela up against Peru. Uh, and that will be in Porto Alegre. Obviously, some of these names will be, or the venues will be familiar with the World Cup back in 2014. Um, and I see this one as a tough one, but I ultimately think Peru will come out on top with a 2-1 win to give themselves a good chance as well to get into the knockout stages. Winning your first game is obviously very important. Uh, next up is Bolivia up against Peru. That will be out in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, and it is officially match number eight. Uh, in the tournament. Uh, a tough one again, this one, but I'm going to go with uh, predominantly in this group. I think Peru have a good chance to get themselves to knockout stages. Obviously, they were in the World Cup. Unfortunately, they got knocked out in the group stages there, but I see them going a little bit better in this tournament. I see them coming out on top two to winners over Bolivia, which would have the Bolivians staring at the exit. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how they get on. Obviously, next up, Brazil up against Venezuela. This is officially match day number seven. Uh, this will be out in Salvador. Um, and again, you can't, you can't back against the hosts. I see them coming out on top four world winners over Venezuela to give themselves a big old chance and possibly that should put them through into knockout stages with a game to spare and that game to spare will be up against Peru on the 26th of June uh, and that match will be in out in Sao Paulo uh, officially match day number 13 uh, now both this game and the Bolivia Venezuela game will kick off at the same time so there's no jiggery pokery if you know what I mean uh, but I ultimately see Brazil despite already qualifying for the knockout stages to still win comfortably 3-1 win in the end it'll be in the later stages where I think they'll be faced up against some more uh, challenges and then joining them uh, Peru should maybe get their th uh, get themselves through with two wins uh, out of a possible three so we'll have to see them we'll have a look at the group table in just a second and wrapping it up it's Bolivia up against Venezuela match day number 14 or match number 14 in the old tournament that'll be out in Belo Horizonte and that's going to end up being a 1-1 draw folks um, so that will make the, uh, the the third position very very interesting because ultimately, don't forget, third place has a chance to get themselves through to the knockout stages. But let's take a look. This is how I think Group A will end up after when you tally up all these goals and points and all that kind of good stuff. This is how I think it will pan out. Obviously, down the bottom there, Bolivia will be bottom. Obviously, on goal difference uh, with a negative five difference with one point on the board. They will finish in fourth place. Uh, meanwhile, Venezuela will play the waiting game to see if they can get through uh, as third as one of the best third place runners up. I don't think it's going to be good enough, if, if I'm honest with you. Again, with one draw, negative four goal difference and just the one point on the board but Peru will go through as second place uh, without one defeat up against Brazil with a goal difference of one uh, points tally six but top of the pops Brazil three wins out of three goal difference of eight nine points on the board and that will see them comfortably through as group winners into the last eight that's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Copa America related, Black and Rose related, World Football related. We've got it all here 
under one roof. And also, like I said, this is the early predictions uh, for the old Cup of America. Once the once we get around about June, uh, we'll do the the actual week by week predictions because things may change. The squads will be announced. We'll know who's going, the form book going into it, and all that kind of good stuff. So stick around for some actual later predictions to see how far. Uh, see how, how I've swerved a little bit. Will I actually swerve or will it be exactly the same? And also join me tomorrow as we'll do Group B uh, in the old 2019 uh, Cup America early predictions. Anyway, until then, I'm going to let you get out of here. Thumbs up, subscribe. Oh, wait, before I go, make sure you drop your own predictions down in the comment section what you think will happen in Group A in 2019 Copa America. But until then, thumbs up, subscribe, and let's bounce. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.